In this video, we'll create a surface profile. Remember the, the alignment we created in the previous sessions, previous exercises? Here is the alignment, and we can now create a surface profile that shows us the vertical data along this alignment. So what I'll do, I have two options. I can go to uh, the Home tab, Profile and Section Views. I can uh, create a profile view from here. I can create a surface profile here. Or I can just select this alignment. And I go to the Contextual tab of the alignment. And I can see here at the launch pad, I can see the surface profile. Create a profile from a surface. I can create, I can click on that surface profile. And this dialog box shows up. The alignment, there are three alignments here. I want to, to select the center line alignment to create a profile from. And this is the surface uh, on which I'm sampling uh, the the profile and we can go from the start station at zero all the way to the end or we can customize this to whatever we want we can click on this and pick a station that we want but currently I want uh, the entire alignment so I skip you can also add sample offsets to this um, you can create other profiles on the left and on the right. The negative represents the, the left and the, and the positive represents the right. And you can also create the center. And once you're done, you can add Okay, and here you can change their styles. Down here, they're added. You can change their styles. For the left sample profile, you can click on left. For the center line, which is at zero, existing ground profile is okay, that style. And then here you can select the right samples uh, profile. Remember, styles control the display of civil 3 d objects. So once you're done setting up all that, you click on Draw in Profile View, and you are presented with that uh, dialog box. Again, the general bit here, you, you can select alignment. We already selected an alignment. Profile view name, uh, you can leave it at the parent alignment in the next counter. If you want to change the name, you can as well change this and name it whatever you want. The profile view style, remember the profile view is different from the profile. The profile view is the grid that holds or, or houses the profile. The different styles that can be selected for the profile view, uh, these styles come with... Uh, the default civil 3d i like the profile view to start with the profile view style and if you want all those uh, offset profiles that we selected the negative 3.5 and 3. Point, and positive 3.5 to be stacked to be in different uh, profile uh, views you can stack them up in different profile views I want them in one profile view, and therefore I leave this unchecked. I can also select a layer for this. I can change a modifier and change this to a new layer. Uh, we leave it at that. Once we're done with the general section, we go to the next uh, section, standard uh, station range. The automatic station range is from zero to to the end. You can use as user a specified range whereby 
you click on this and you can select the range in which you want from here from here okay you can have a specified range that you want or you can even type whatever um, station you want currently we want to leave it at automatic for the entire uh, station range you can move to next profile view height the profile view height also uh, can be set up automatically where civil 3d gives you the minimum and maximum uh, calculates the minimum and the maximum heights above sea level for for that profile and uh, automatically assigns the minimum and maximum here you can also control it by keying in whatever you want as the minimum and and whatever you specify as, as the maximum and you can also split your view if you have very steep slopes you can split your view into different uh, sections currently our slope is very mild let's just leave it at automatic go to the next profile uh, display options here you can change the styles again from here you can change the styles of the uh, of the profiles if you want to you can uh, allow them to be drawn or you can uncheck that all right next here is a pipe stroke pressure network uh, option which is grayed out this is because in our drawing we do not have any pressure or pipe networks let's go to next data bands the data bands have data regarding the profile and they can be set up either above or below uh, location can be bottom or top of the profile view the profile grid and here we want it at the bottom of the profile grid and we have different band sets okay we'll just go with the eg fg elevations and stations band set for now we'll see how to create other band sets later next is the profile hatch options you can hatch um, when you have multiple profiles you can uh, select the cut hatch and the fill hatch and then you can also select the multiple boundary hatch okay you can have that okay this is just for demonstration because um here we do not have a finished ground a profile and an existing ground profile to have cut and fill we only have offset profiles and therefore if we show something as cut or fill it would not be very accurate but let's just do it so as to show how how this uh these hatches behave okay once you're done you can create the profile view and you're now prompted to select profile view origin and you can click somewhere here and you can now see the profile view and here the hatch for the cut that we selected okay so the three profile views that we we sampled are here you can see there's one which is here and then you have another one here and then you have another one here and that's how you create surface profiles and down here we also have the data band that we selected the eg fg and station data band